Unresponsive, prosecutors say Lyons threw her son into walls and hit him with a hairbrush. And within the past 15 minutes, we learned about a big break in the case involving this surveillance where in which a te teacher is attacked. It's video that is so disturbing. Alan Jennings spent the day working on this story. He's live now with breaking details. Alan. Peggy, we just learned minutes ago that the Pittsburgh police identified a suspect. Surveillance video is a beautiful thing. They're going to be picking him up in a couple of hours. A warrant is being prepared for his arrest right now. And let me tell you that this is a big house offense. I'll explain. If the attacker knew that his victim was a teacher, he's facing up to 20 years in prison. Even if the suspect is a juvenile, just got it confirmed. If he is attacked because he was a in a protected class, which is a teacher, they are in a protected class, it's an automatic felony. And Defense attorney Frank Walker is talking about the teacher attacker caught by a surveillance camera here in Tito Way. Witnesses believe the striker and those with him were all juveniles. But even if the attacker is a juvenile, his age may not stop him from being tried as an adult. How much could this person be looking at? I mean, you look at a maximum penalty, sir, anywhere up to 20 years in, 20 years in prison, anywhere a $25,000 fine. Momentarily knocked out, the Kappa teacher suffered facial and head cuts and bruises. It's disturbing. Pittsburgh police are on the case using the video from a surveillance camera mounted on the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust building. Walker says the attack affects all teachers. Now you have a teacher coming in, instead of thinking about lesson plans, they're thinking about protecting themselves. The arrest will be just for simple assault. That's to give prosecutors and the police time to investigate. Again, if they determine that the attacker knew that the cap that it was a teacher, he faces a felony and up to 20 years in prison. We also did find out today that the teacher is mending and should be back in class hopefully early next week. Live at the Kappa School, Alan Jennings, Channel 11 News. And our big national story, of course, today, Decision 2012, or less than a month.